Welcome to my channel. Our lesson today is square root of fraction. To begin with, what is a square root? Square root of a number is a value that when multiplied by itself, it gives the same number. What do I mean? Like for instance, if you are given square root of 16, so which number, when I multiply by itself, can it give me 16? The number is 4. So 4 times 4 is equal to 16. From our lesson about perfect squares. From this concept of perfect squares, a number like 1 times 1, we know it's 1. This is a perfect square. 2 times 2, it's 4. 3 times 3, it's 9. 4 times 4, it's 16. 5 times 5, it's 25. 6 times 6, it's 36. 7 times 7, it's 49. 8 times 8, it's 64. 9 times 9, it's 81. 10 times 10, it's 100. And so forth. Therefore, we are saying the square root of this number, it is a value that when you multiply by itself, it gives you the same number. So what is the square root of 4? The square root of 4 shall be a value that when you multiply by itself, it gives you this. And the value is 2. When you multiply 2 by 2, you get 4. Therefore, square root of 4 is 2. And square root of 9 is 3. Square root of 16 is 4. Square root of 25 is 5. Square root of that 6 is 6. Square root of 49 is 7. Square root of 64 is 8. Square root of 81 is 9. And square root of 100 is 10. Now, let's solve this kind of a question, which is a fraction. So, given a fraction, what you do, you get the square root of the numerator, you write it, and the square root also of the denominator. So, the square root of 25 is 5, square root of 64 is 8, and our answer is 5 over 8. Let's do another example. The square root of 25, which is our numerator, is 5. And the square root of our denominator, that 6, it's 6. And that is our answer. How do we get square root of a mixed fraction? The first thing, you change the mixed fraction to improper fraction. That is, denominator, which is 9, multiplied by 7, which is our whole number. 9 times 7 is 63. 63 plus 1 is 64 over 9. Now, after changing the mixed fraction, to improve a fraction, now we get the square root. What is square root of a numerator 64? It's 8. And square root of 9 is 3. If you look at our answer, our numerator is bigger than our denominator. So we can't leave our answer in this form. So we simplify it. That is numerator divided by the denominator. 8 divided by 3 is 2 because of 6. When you take away... 8 take away 6, it's 2. 2 can't divide 3. Therefore, our whole number will be this uh, quotient, which is 2. And our remainder will be our numerator, and our divisor shall be our denominator. When you are given a mixed fraction, the first thing, before getting square root, first change the mixed fraction to improper fraction. So, 25 multiplied by 6. 6 times 5 is 30, so that's 0 carry 3. 6 times 2 is 12, 12 plus 3 is 15. So 25 times 6 is 15 plus 19. We add our numerator there, 19. We get 169. All this over 25. And now after changing to improve fraction, now we can get a square root. Square root of 169 is 13. Square root of 25 is 5. Our answer is an improper fraction. So our final answer, we simplify it to mixed fraction, which is numerator 
divide by denominator that is divide by 5 it goes 2 times because 2 times 5 it's 10 when you take away 3 minus 0 it's 3 and 1 take away 1 is a 0 so 3 is our remainder and 2 is our quotient so our answer is 2 being our quotient and our reminder we write it there on top of the the divisor and that's our answer let's do another example now the square root of our numerator here is 11 because 11 times 11 is 121 so the square root of 121 is 11 square root of 400 you can divide it into two that is 4 times 100 such a way that the square root of 4 is 2 square root of 100 is 10 so 2 times 10 is 20 as you can see our answer here it's okay it's proper so we can't simplify these are old numbers these are even number so we stop it like that i wish you the best and kindly subscribe share and leave a comment also remember to practice practice makes perfect thank you for watching bye bye